noise again for the Diamond Princess, Hi, Trina! <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? Y'all ready to have a good time tonight? All right. They ready, Trina. All ready. All right, so 99 Jams and Sensors is where the artists and the fans get to connect. And it's a comfortable situation. So we're going to get into Uncensored with Trina. Y'all ready? <laughs> First of all, Trina, the performance right here was amazing. Thank you. Thank you, you look amazing. <laughs> what have you. you been doing? <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Thank Wait, you. Wait, was that you laughing or recording? That was me. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, that was nasty and Corey, I think, right? <laughs> all right, so before we start the interview, we got to, like, get rid of the elephant in the room. Okay. Because a couple weeks ago, for those that already know or don't know, you and I had, I wouldn't call it a situation. It was just an incident that happened. Okay. And basically, it was over an interview I had done of someone who basically wrote some tweets about you when she was drunk. Then the next day took them down. Then I did an interview with her and she talked about it in the interview about how she'd never met you. She was just drunk, didn't mean it and basically spoke positive about you. But I guess by the time my interview with her got to you, I'm not sure if it was twisted or whatever, but um, you did send a tweet out that said, and I quote, yo, at Super Cindy, please keep my name out your interviews when it includes bum bitch talk. That's exactly what I said, yeah. <laughs> and, and it also said, you should know better, hashtag what's good. So, I just want to know. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. <laughs> CO, leave that button alone before I go up CO, there and you get you. That's my nigga, CO. All right. So I just want to know we're face to face. Woman to woman. Yes. Face to face. What happened because the interview I did was basically a positive interview. So I don't know, like, when it got to you, what happened? Like, how did that tweet okay. happen? So since we are here, we're live. This yes. is live, my, mm -hmm. me. My thing is, it's not about the interview because I really didn't hear the interview. I never saw the interview. I didn't read the interview. Yes. But the fact that you interviewed somebody that even spoke about me mm -hmm. and spoke about me but don't know me. First of all, I'm not a gossiper. I do not play with these girls out here at all, period. Do gotcha. not call my name. Do not mention my name. Do not say my name. If you're drunk, you're over 21, handle your alcohol or do not drink. I don't play that <laughs> shit. I'm just keeping it real. So therefore... You disrespected me for being drunk and saying stuff about me, period. Whatever you said, I don't even know because I don't care. But the fact that you did that and I don't know you and then you interviewed and it was this big thing, I'm like, okay, fine. You did interview, you. she asked whatever you said about me. But now it's not the interview, it's the tweet. Super Cindy does an interview on blah, 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 at Trina Ross. Don't at me. Don't at me. <laughs> Because I'm not a part of the interview. I don't have anything to do with it. I don't care what you guys talked about. I have a lot of respect for you. I've been knowing you for so many years. Exactly. We've always been like, always on great energy. That just rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm not, it's not a personal thing against you. It's the fact that it's a lot of women out here that's negative. Their energy is negative. They culture vultures. It's a lot of haters. I don't get involved with that. I do what I do. I work my ass off for me. And I don't bother nobody. If I see something I don't like, I keep it moving. Do not dis. Do not discuss my name if I'm not a part of the situation. I'm not there, the interview's not about me, so keep my name out of it. If you apologize, that's one thing, I don't care. But therefore, I just felt disrespected, for one, because you're on social media talking shit about me. I'm so well grounded and I don't have time. I never responded because I don't care, you're irrelevant. So what I'm saying is out of respect, I give everybody respect, don't disrespect me. So you talked about me, I wasn't, I found that to be like just fake, you know what I mean? And I just didn't like it. So when I saw the next day my name was in your interview, I wrote at you because you're the person to interview her and I just felt like that was just a little, yeah. Interview her, interview her, don't at me. I don't have nothing to do. I don't care about what it's about. Just don't add my name. And that's how I felt about it. Real talk. All right. Hi, B Mac. Well, uh, speaking on my behalf, like you said, you and I have had a long relationship throughout the years. And basically, the only reason why I felt comfortable with the interview 
was because in front of me, she did not speak negatively about you. If it would have been on some negative stuff, well, when, the interview wouldn't have gotten any further. Well, when, so. I saw the, when I saw some of the tweets from my social media fans, uh -huh. her, 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 her ads was disrespectful. I don't play that disrespectful shit. No, I hear you about I'm her really, I'm, I'm in the street with this. I'm, I don't have the time, baby. You know that. I got that. you. I, I don't have the time. Like, you. Well, my time is, you know, so I just felt like don't even include me into something that's unnecessary and that's negative and the energy is bad because it throws me out of what I'm trying to do. My sixth album is done, by the way, guys. So make sure you guys get excited about that. So that's my whole purpose and my whole focus. I, don't, I just didn't have time for that, that negative vibe. I don't know. I never saw this girl a day in my life, face to face. So if you saw me and I didn't see you, if you saw me, good. But don't call my name. Don't go on social media talking shit about me and you don't know me. Period. That's how I feel. I got you.